Hey guys, it's Chris here from Chris's Creative Life and I design workshops that help you create beautiful layouts from start to finish with easy to follow guides. And welcome back to another video for the Remember Today Cut Above kit. This one is for page five. So we're just motoring right along. So if you haven't watched some of the other ones, um, there is a full playlist that you can work through. And um, if you're more interested in creating double page spreads with your um, Remember Today Cut Above kit, I do have a workshop on my blog at Chris's Creative Life com that creates two page spreads from the cut above kit with some additional supplies but let me put you down here on my, or at my desk and we will start layout number five here so i will just show you the little before or i guess their version of the number five so it's this one with the butterflies on it so I have my pieces here so we can go ahead and get started. So my intention was in creating this series is just to make a fun little series of short videos on how I assembled the cut above kit. So most of it will actually be just the way the cut above kit is and maybe just a few little tweaks along the way. I'll talk to you about the photographs that I used. This calendar is from my mother-in-law. So they are photographs of mostly my husband and the kids and a few of the dogs. So, but I kind of, when I use this as a Christmas gift, I try and remember who my audience is and include photographs that they might not have seen or they don't have for themselves already. So this one, the title is Happy. So I grabbed some photos of my husband and I. This was our anniversary this year and this was actually the flowers my mother-in-law gave us on our anniversary. So I thought I would use those. So this one's gonna come together super quickly. There is not a lot to it. So I have here the photographs. I have trimmed them down just an eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna add them onto their photo mats and then they have um, some gray mats here. So I just grabbed really quickly just a few embellishments. So I have some mink twine that I'm going to add to the tag just like I did in a previous video just so that it looks finished and then I grabbed some wild berry glitter gems I thought they would look nice on this page okay so I'm actually going to do this flat here So we will just, I'm just going to mat these and then we will punch apart the pieces that we need. So I thought the flowers just went perfectly with the colors in this layout. So it kind of was fun. So the nice thing too about the calendars is it's not a ton of photos, right? So it's pretty easy to kind of just go through your past year or um, in some years when I've made the calendars, I've used really old photographs also that um, people might have not seen in a long time that were just kind of fun to include. Okay, so this one goes over here. This one goes up over here, just like that. Um, okay, so this is a sticker title. And I don't know if I'm going to pull this off. This sticker is quite dainty because it's the script. No, oh, no, it does come off. Okay. So I'm just going to pull this off. And I might actually even pop the insides out of the letter and use the backing to just make my sticker go on straight. So I'm just going to pull the little insides out here and add them to 
my throwaway piece here. There's just a few, like the A is very dainty. So I'm just getting my pieces out so that I don't accidentally stick them down to my layout when I pull the sticker off. So black and white dots also would have been a nice addition on this layout. if you want to add something but like I've said before they're perfectly fine to use just as they are also okay so then here's the punch out pieces so these are going to go over here so be the reason someone smiles today and then this is the little tag so it's just like a faux tag and we're going to add some twine to it. And again, I actually pulled the mink because um, it's the same color as the um, photo maps. So these little butterflies are just punch apart. So you can add them on top of the butterflies on the layout so I'm going to actually add those with just a little bit of 3d foam probably thin and probably in the middle so I'm going to do this one one of the lower ones there so I punched everything out so now we just need to assemble so like I said, these are just little, short little videos, quick and simple to um, just walk you through how I assembled the layout. So here they're saying, so one and seven eighths, which is just below the two. And sometimes I follow them and sometimes I don't, but Today we will, or roughly. Sorry, everything just is a little crooked here. There we go. And then one and three quarters from that edge. So just about there. So, and then I'm not actually super worried about this photograph as to where I put it, but I'm going to use some foam tape on it just to pop it up a little bit. Okay, and I'll, I just, you might not necessarily be able to overlap it exactly where they say. It depends on the photograph and how much white space, right, you have on that side of your photograph. So, I am kind of just going to go. This is much less overlap than they have. They have theirs way farther over. Okay, so let's do the little tag here so I'm just cutting off a small piece of the twine and I showed this before I do keep one pair of scissors that I use for cutting twine and ribbon and they're just the regular scissors not the non-stick ones and I just have a little ribbon on there so I know which are which so I just pulled this across the back of my scissors, but you can do it against your bone folder just to take any of the kinks out of your twine. 
So, I'm just gonna pass it through the back here. And I am gonna use 3D foam tape on, just thin, on this um, tag top, just so that the twine doesn't have a big bump in the back. So there we go. And I'll just add a little bit of thin 3D foam tape on the back here. And it just helps it so that you don't get that funny bump at the, the underneath where the twine would be. I'm just tucking it in right in there. And then I can decide how long I want these. And I'm just going to use my piercing tool to pull out the strands. Just like that. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to pop this up on just a little bit of um, foam tape here. And then next I'll add in my title and my journaling strips and then I will add the butterflies. So I'm just going to use the um, thin foam dots on the bodies of the butterflies. Just add them in and you have to remember too this project is not underneath a page protector right so you will actually see the dimension of the butterflies so I'm just gonna add my title in now so I just want it to come a little bit up over my photo to kind of nestle right in there Just like that. I'll add the journaling strips down now. So it's kind of nice too because you can add dates onto things that they might not necessarily know what the date was. This one is, she will know this one, but that's okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to add the little dot or two. We'll see what fits here. In the middle of the body. And I am just going to Take the back of my piercing tool and just roll the wings up just a little bit because if we're adding dimension under there then you might as well see it right so I'll take my backing off so you can just kind of see the shadow there right where the butterfly is now more dimensional So like I said, these are just the thin ones, but there are also thick ones. And again, I just rolled it before I placed it down, tapping the body there in the middle.
There we go. I'm going to do this one over here beside the flowers. And again, same thing. You can also do this really with just about anything. You can use your, your bone folder or even your fingers if you're careful. The little dots are super handy if you just kind of want to get into a small space and not have to um, cut up your 3D foam tape. You can also use the little insides of the um, circles from the shakers. Because don't forget when you get all those um, pre-cut uh, shaker pieces, they have insides that are great for squeezing into little spots. Okay, so there is that one. So I'm just going to add a few of these wild berry glitter gems. And I think we will be done. So there's two sizes. There's a bigger size and then a smaller size. Just like all the other um, glitter gems. There's gold. There's silver also. So... Wildberry is the new color of the year, so I thought it would just look nice here. Okay, I'm going to actually add one over here too, and then a couple up here. So that it kind of goes perfectly with the flowers that they gave us. So, oh, look, we have one more butterfly here. So I'll just add a dot. And then same thing. Add this flamingo one down. There we go. So that is all done. So like I said, I super hope you guys are enjoying this series following along as I create my Christmas presents this year. So I will be back and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye guys. Have a great day. Here are a few still photos of my layout from today. Thank you very much for joining me. See you next time.